What's up guys, my name is Leo LTR. Now, I've been wanting to avoid this topic for a while because I needed to wait before more information was given out and more details were revealed because I wanted to give a really good presentation of this and I don't want to freak this up. So, let's get started. Call Me Carson is an American YouTuber who makes funny videos with his friends, even did a game show with his friends, and even did a funny little spelling bee on Discord. Now, recently he's been getting some rather odd allegations towards him, and it is not looking very good on his side. It all began in 2019 when Call Me Carson was barely getting any fan base and actually started to get some traction on YouTube. This girl on Twitter decided to text him and say, hey, we should date. So Call Me Carson, being the nerdy dude who never really got too much girlfriends, jumped right at it. So on Discord, they were texting each other, and uh, this is where it kind of started getting a little weird. While they were texting, the girl thought that they were not in a relationship, while Carson thought that they were actually in a real relationship. So he decided to ask uh, for nude pictures from her. So the girl decides to send those pictures. People say that he used his fame to manipulate her and make her send those pictures. So yeah, she sends those pictures and of course Carson uses them. But later on, I guess he has, he decides to ask her more than once for those pictures. So I think it's a confirmed three times he asked her for them and she gave them to him as well as him sending pictures to her. So yeah, that's the part that Twitter forgets. They forget that while she was sending pictures, he was sending back. It's not like he was forcing her to send pictures without him giving something in return. It's not the point. So yeah, this all happened around 2019. Call Me Carson was 19 years old and the girl was 17 years old. She's basically underage. You have to be 18 for it to be legal, but in this, since she is under 17 years old, or was under 17 year olds, it is classified as child pornography, which made it really bad. Just like as Moist Critical stated, it doesn't matter if you both are 17. Let's say you both are 17. You both are 17. One guy turn, the guy is older than the female. So what ends up happening is that the guy ends up turning 18 before her. So let's say they send any pictures towards each other. Now, this guy is a classified felon and she is a victim of child pornography. So yeah, it doesn't matter if she's 17 or, or he's 19 or 18, whatever. It's still a felony. So it doesn't matter what I say, it's still illegal, but there has not been an arrest made on Carson. So whatever he did, they didn't see a point in arresting him. Even though it was from years ago and she was underage, they don't see a point because even the cops don't see a point because she was just about to turn 18 and he was already 19. I had this personal case because my parents are only two years apart. So there's nothing different. There's, the only difference is that the law makes it a difference. It's 17 year old versus 19 year old. That's the bad part. So now this is where things start and this is where the drama starts when things start to go mainstream. So here's a brief explanation. So around late November to early December, uh, Call Me Carson's ex-friends uh, decide that they were going to basically expose him to the internet uh, via this YouTube channel called Drama Alert. Drama Alert is basically where uh, another YouTuber named Keemstar states drama that is happening on the internet. So they decide that the best place to say this would be via drama alert, which I think is a horrible decision to make. So Keemstar says this whole thing on it and he interviews both Travis and uh, his other friend, which I cannot name at the moment. Um, so he, he names both of them and um, yeah, it, uh, it goes viral, of course, like any drama alert video that has a mainstream YouTuber or just mainstream content creator. So this goes viral and um, everybody starts saying stuff. Let's go to Twitter, for example. So if you go to Twitter right now, 
and you go to Call Me Carson. If you look at hashtag Call Me Carson, you're going to see a good mixture of hate and support. But remember, this is already six months since it happened. So there's a lot of supporters that want one of their favorite YouTubers back. So back in uh, December, when it first all happened, um, it was a giant crap show. Um, Call Me Carson was classified as one of the victims of being canceled. So when you get canceled, basically it's when the entire internet decides they want to hate you and they want to throw you away and say no one should watch you because you're horrible, blah, blah, blah. Usually when you get canceled, it's because of something that happened a long time ago. Like let's say something they say that's political, like if they go for the wrong side or if they go for, if they say something that could possibly be homophobic or racist, that could be um, a huge factor. So you just gotta be careful. Let's say me right now. I could be, I could, I could say something right now, right? That could be hateful. I could say something in one of my past videos. I could say something in this video. I could get canceled for it years later. So if you're a YouTuber, you have to be careful. But in this case, it was not anything verbal. It was nothing on opinions. It was literally on an action that he did. And it was a mistake that he did, which made him you know, get canceled. So, um, and the entire Twitter fan base basically turned on his back and they were just going crazy on him. They were all saying, everybody be careful for Call Me Carson. There were some people that were like, Carson, you can go die. There were some people saying, Carson, you're a sick fricker. So much bad stuff. They There's so much bad stuff that they say on that platform because of that. And it just made it worse. And just to make matters worse, just after the video had released by Keemstar, the girl who he was texting made a tweet saying, I am a victim of Call Me Carson's grooming. So she decides that she would go onto Twitter for whatever reason to get clout, I'm pretty sure. She decides to go onto Twitter and start texting and just blah, 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 not texting, but she decides to make a post of the text logs that were from 2019. And it is pretty disturbing, let's not lie. It is a pretty disturbing scene to see all of the weird comments and all the weird messages that he was sending. And it is pretty disturbing when you look at it and it's just like, wow, I didn't know a guy like that could be that creepy. And remember, this was back when Call Me Carson only had like 30,000 subscribers. I'm pretty sure he didn't even know he would get that famous or get to the point where he is now. So yeah, she posted on Twitter. It gets retweeted a thousands of times. It gets liked thousands of times and everybody on Twitter knew about it and it was not very good. I could go on for days, make it years <laughs> of how many bad tweets there are all of him now. So call me Carson instead of uh, making a video, an apology video, decided to escape from the internet for about, and he's still away from the internet now. He's been away for over six months. So because uh, he has not made a video, in over six months and he has not made a single post for a while he completely eliminated the internet from his life he got rid of the he got rid of twitter you know, his twitter account's still up but he's no longer using it he got rid of twitter he got rid of his youtube he got rid of his instagram everything it is pretty evident that call me carson went into a hardcore depression after this happened i mean who wouldn't get depressed after their entire fan base decided they want to just completely throw him out and say that they hate him? And he's also had a history of this. He also has a history of having imposter syndrome stated by Jay Schlatt, one of his best friends, or one of his ex-best friends. Jay Schlatt stated in the video that he suffered from imposter syndrome, and imposter syndrome is something where you feel like you don't deserve anything and you feel like you're, you, you shouldn't have what you have now and just you shouldn't be there. So there would be some points where Kami Carson felt like, that's it, I'm gonna delete everything, but his friends stopped him from doing that. And even now he hasn't deleted anything when everything's have gone to his worst. But finally, we finally got a sign that he is actually going to return. It was pretty recently that he posted a tweet for the first time in months that he has not deleted. And it says, 
don't worry, I will be back soon. Or give me a little bit more time. So that is confirming he is going to be back pretty soon. Now, it is my time for my opinion and my look on the entire situation. I personally think that Twitter way overreacted towards this entire situation. I feel like this entire thing should not have happened. And I feel like it really should not, should not have gone to its level of just, just horribleness. There's two other cases that I say were way worse than this. Number one, the James Charles situation. Now, I don't know too much about the whole situation, but what I know for sure is that there was a guy that was about four years younger than him, and they were pretty much sexting each other, and it's not very good. But James Charles has a way more, I want to say, wholesome fan base, and he made an apology video, and everything's normal now. Even though it was a guy who was four years younger than him, he was underage as well, and he still is not canceled. He's still making videos like nothing. So I don't get it. And another thing, another guy named EDP445. So I don't know if I'm gonna make a video on him. I doubt it. I don't really care for him. But all I know is that he was trying to contact uh, a 13 year old and he was supposed to go to their house and do something with them. Uh, but it was actually a predator catcher who was acting as the 13 year old who caught EDP in the act in 4K. So imagine that guy is like 34 years old and he was trying to meet up with a 13 year old girl and he still makes videos like nothing happened and his fan base still love him. So of course you already know that Twitter basically bullied Carmi Carson for his mistake. What the internet does, doesn't understand is that even the people that you look up to make mistakes too. And uh, this is where I start getting a little dark. There was evident times that like I pieced together after the whole situation happened. I could tell when I was looking back into his video history that there were some issues going on in the middle of his career, pretty much. There would be some times where there would be spaces in between his videos, even on the lives. And then there would be a video of him saying, I am back and this and that. I was going through things. And now it is really obvious what those things were that were bothering him. It was obvious that it was those, that it was the grooming that was bothering him, for sure. And of course, another thing that Twitter forgets is that he was sorry for his actions, okay? He is obviously sorry for his actions. So this guy has had issues with his mental health from before he even started YouTube. Everybody has mental issues. And not to mention someone who gets the amount of hate and someone who gets the amount of popularity that he has. And including imposter syndrome. So... There's already people that are getting stressed out over matters in their own lives, whether it be work, financial, the pandemic, everything. So imagine all that stuff piled on him. YouTube, making his fan base happy, the pandemic, then finally got this massive guilt hanging over him. The whole thing, he was guilty for it, obviously. That's why he took breaks from YouTube. And that's what Twitter forgets. He was so sorry for his actions and he didn't want the whole internet to do that. His main biggest fear was that the internet would find out about what happened and he would get canceled. And that's exactly what happened. It was around, probably around February, maybe March. Um, that was when Call Me Carson was his quietest. He was not posting nothing. No one was talking about it too much anymore. People were still very sad about what happened. A lot of people were disappointed. And believe me, I am a huge Call Me Carson fan, and it kills me to see him where he is now. I loved his videos. I loved his live streams. I barely got Twitch when he got canceled. I was so sad because 
he was live once for before I had Twitch. He was live once when I had Twitch. I didn't even watch his live stream. And that live stream was the last live stream he'd done for months. So honestly, I hate you, Twitter. They're the ones who have basically started all this frenzy of canceling other creators. And I don't know why. But yeah, so here's my final comment. Number one, no, it was not a big deal. Two age difference, not a huge deal. Number two, the guy was sorry for it. He just, he just, he was so sorry for it. He he knew that he had done something really bad. And he made, everybody makes mistakes. So yeah, like I said, number three, everybody makes mistakes. And that's what people forget. But this is where I know I'm wrong because well, here's the reasons why I'm wrong. Number one, it's against the law. It doesn't matter if it's an age difference. It doesn't matter. It just, it just matters the law, right? The law at the end of the day is what matters. And he broke the law. He did commit a crime and he is a felon. Yeah, at the end of the day, he did break the law, but he did not get arrested. If it was against the law enough, the, the law officials would have already arrested him. And then two, I think the main reason why Twitter canceled him in the first place was not because of the age difference, even though there were people saying that. I think the real problem was that he man manipulated his fan uh, and decided to pretty much make her send news to him, right? And he was sending them back. But um, that's one thing that I did not like at all. He did manipulate her. So, but yeah, that's all I got to say. But all right, guys, that is it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed this entire, whatever the frick this is, explaining drama. But yeah, I hope you guys like this video. Uh, if you like this video, please leave it in the comments below. If you guys want to see more videos, then subscribe. See you guys next time. This is the end of the video. Subscribe for more.